what has happened in 2020 compared to 2019. So we pushed a bit further. This year, have you personally drawn on any spiritual practices? And if you have, would you assess that you've done this more, less, or the same as in 2019? So we're seeing nearly half have said, yes, I have drawn on spiritual practices this year. And within that group, you can see that 15% say, I have done so more than previously, more than last year. Then there's a group that, a large group that say it's about the same. And then there's a small group that have said, in fact, my spiritual practices have, are less than they were previously. So again, what we see is uh, uh, Australians who are not closed to the spiritual dimension, not closed to spiritual practices as a resource to be drawn on. More detail, what have you actually used? Here we see again the things that appeal to them are the things that they have used more often. So again, saying compared to last year, what have you done this year? We can, I've put the highlighted ones again. The things they've done more often are to spend time in nature or outdoors. Much more use of music to move or lift spirits and much more prayer, meditation, or mindfulness than the, than the group of people who said, no, actually, I'm doing that less than I used to. I haven't shown you the, the group that say it's about the same because I thought what's interesting is the change in 2020 to how people are, are operating. You can see, not surprisingly, that people have uh, less attendance of religious worship services and less attendance of small groups. Now, that's the practicality of um, lockdown, of services uh, not happening in person. Perhaps it's a little pushback, though, on the idea that everybody went online and embraced online worship because when you ask a representative sample of Australians, did you uh, attend church more this, or religious services more this year, the, the data is suggesting, no, there's been a drop-off in attendance.